have a free man, mm -hmm. we have a slave, mm -hmm. and we have a, a female. It is, this is the most barbaric, and I say it was, was I'm, I'm trying to find a way out of it, but it's the most barbaric way of retaliation. If I killed one of your slaves, mm -hmm. you don't kill me, I'm a free man. You pick up one of my innocent slaves and you kill. If one of my slaves kill you and you are a free man, you don't kill my slave, you kill the master of the slave, you kill me's owner. Uh, by chance, I killed your wife. You don't kill me, you kill who? My wife. So the retaliation is to revenge equal to what you lost, not the person who commits the crime. That's okay. why even in Iraq today, wow. uh, and people always ask me the question, uh -huh. why Prophet Yusam in Iraq, Shia bomb a Sunni mosque, and Sunni go back and retaliate and bomb a Shia mosque. They bomb wow. in each other's mosque. Why? Because that's what Allah taught them in the Quran. We have this in Egypt. It's called Tar. Tar is re revenge. Mm -hmm. No kidding. A family by mistake or whatever happened, killed a member another family. The family revenge was an equal member. They go back and revenge. They keep, they keep going back and forth, back and forth. In few, in few years, literally, maybe 25, 30 people of each family is killed. Revenge. Wow. Revenge. Look, look Osama, mm. though, in this verse, the, uh, the caste system in Islam, which they don't call it that, mm -hmm. you got three classes of human of beings. Mm -hmm. right. The top is a free male. And then slave. And then slave. slave. And then he puts a female below. Well, <laughs> female. And, female below. And notice yeah. it, you know, yeah. it just says it's female. And so the female is the lowest. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm. Okay, move on to chapter 4, uh, verse 25. Uh, we can have the screen here. 425. Allah in the Quran says, And whoever among you who cannot marry the free believing women, so have sex with those whom your right hand possesses from your young believing girls. What is it? If for, for a man in, in, in the Muslim world to marry a free Muslim woman, you have to come up with dowry. You have to come up with money. If you can afford it, well, you don't have the money for it. What are you going to do? You don't get married? No. You have sex, not marriage now. Mm -hmm. That's it. very important because somebody could translate this in other English, such as, so marry. No, ne it's not marriage. Nikah. Nikah is having sex. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. the word. Uh, and I know some Muslim people say, no, uh, Yankah means marry. Uh, in some places in the Quran, yes. But if you go to the Hadith, my dear Muslim friend are watching right now. If you go to the Quran, Muhammad say, do not, لا تنكحوا أيديكم. Do not um, have sex with your hand. He did not mean marry your hand. You don't marry your hand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's no way a man well, can marry his hand. Now. So <laughs> obviously, <laughs> the Hadith is, make it very clear that it's not marriage. The word yankah means have sex. It's actually the word if, the now, F word in English. Now, Osama, let me ask you something. When it sure. says what your hand possesses, yes. that's talking about slaves, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Slaves and concubines. There are two sets of slaves. Mm -hmm. What your right hand possesses, two things. You may buy them or you may kill their, ma their papa and their husband and he takes them as a concubine. Okay. So I go to war with Muhammad. We uh, uh, wage war about, uh, about, uh, on some people, and I killed 10 guys. Mm -hmm. And these 10 guys have 10 wives and have 25, 30 girls. These are mine. This is what my right hand is. I'm going to pick up 10 of them to sleep with, concubine. The rest I'm going to sell to somebody. Mm -hmm. These are now slaves. If you buy them slave, if you get them with the sweat of the sword, as you kill their papa and their husband, now they are concubine. Right? Now, you're telling me that th th these things aren't abrogated no, in the Quran? No, 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 my friend. Aren't they changed this, in the Quran? So you're, you're, that, there's no, no, no abrogation. This is a final word of the not even a verse that could be a potential abrogated. You, this know, is, you know what I mean? Yeah, there's not yeah. even any verse that, that is different from this. Yes, this, um, is, this is a final thing. Let's move on. Let's move on. I have so much to go. Four, chapter 4 and verse 24. Let's see what we have here in the Quran. Allah said, And married women are also forbidden except all that your right hand possesses. This is the decree of Allah for you, and it is lawful to you besides this to seek out women with your money, chaste without fornication. What do you see here? A Muslim man cannot have sex with married woman, but here is wonderful, except, except all what your right hand possesses. possesses. Except a slave. Imagine with me, here is a man, a Muslim man, a believer of Allah, a believer of the Quran, a believer of the word of Allah and the Quran, and as we see in, a little bit in the Hadith, Allah tell him what? You have slaves. They are married. Can I have sex with my slave? Absolutely. Hey, Ali, send your wife up there, man. I need her in bed. <laughs> yes, sir. She will be up there in a minute. That is Allah teaching. That's the Quran teaching. All the list, list of the women in, in, in 423 give you all the lists. These two you cannot have sex with. Yeah. But 
Married woman also you cannot have sex with, except, I love the word except, mm -hmm. but the one, your right hand possessed, you can have sex with them. With the slaves. It's like all slave, all concubines, <laughs> whatever your right hand possessed. You've got to let me ask you this question, Osama. Sure. Is this, does this explain what's happening in the Sudan now with, uh, with uh, Muslim Arabs who are, you know, enslaving people? Absolutely. Yeah, and it, never it, is the Quran brought to bear on this. Oh, no, we no, just see, hear that, they're, it that is, these are renegades and they're not following the Quran. This is what we hear. If you are a true Muslim, if you are a true believer of Islam, you have to believe in the word of Allah, the Quran, every word of it. You will never drop one verse. Every Muslim in the world who does not have sex with some slaves, he's not a good Muslim. Because he's not following Allah's word. This is what Allah commands him. All what your right hand possessed, marry slaves you can have sex with let's move on listen this uh, very important piece here uh, so if they become muslim so if they commit indecency so torment them half of the torment prescribed for free married women female become muslim they were slave and they sin you torment them half of the torment of uh, the normal uh, free Muslim. Why where, is that? Where, where is that now? It's a, the, continuing with the, with the previous verse. 424? <clears throat> yes, if you see the three dots in the bottom there, yeah. and we continue with it. Okay. So, why slave commits sin be punished half of the same sin if it's committed by a free woman? Because they're too standard. They're too, the two level. What do you call this, Brother Joseph? Uh, they're not equal. Slave and yeah. female. Female Cast, slave. Caste system. Caste system. Like Hinduism. the Hindus almost. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Move on. But, well, uh, yeah, now, you're not going to touch a 4 3 right now. That's coming. You? Okay. <laughs> you're rushing me. I want to get Brother the 4 3. <laughs> I want to get the 4 <laughs> 3 now. <laughs> I'll ahead. bring it to you. I'll Go bring ahead. It. But Habib. what I'm saying is, is the Mufti in Egypt, he tell us one verse. Yeah. How many verses we got so far? So far, and you got more than one. No. Yeah. And they're all clear. Yeah. I mean, right. these verses, uh, if, if somebody say you, you, you're taking this verse out of context, yeah. call us. We will, read you, we will read you the entire <laughs> chapter before and the, the beginning of this chapter wow. and the rest of the chapter and the following chapter. We will read four chapters to see if we take this verse out of context. Number well, the, one. The chapter should help you with that. The name of the chapter is women. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. Yes, right. Sure, of course. And it's But you see, say, were you taking this verse out of context? It's up to see. Oh, you... Uh, you, you, you have to read the interpretation of Muslim scholar. Please call us and tell us which scholar do you want me to read the interpretation for. Yeah. We have Ibn Kasir, we have Qurtubi, we have Tabari, we have uh, uh, yeah. Jalalain. Uh, tell us which one and we will read to you your scholar interpretation to any of these verses. So we're not making it up. Let's keep going. <laughs> so go. if they... All right. <clears throat> uh, chapter 4 and verse 36. Be good to the parents and the relatives and the orphans and what your right hand possesses. Surely, Allah does not love who is proud, boastful. His Allah has given command to the believer to be good with whom? What the right hand and possesses. possesses. Uh, if the Quran does not teach uh, slavery, why Allah has commanded you to be good with your slave? Hmm. Obviously, that's an indication, internal proof from the word of Allah in the Quran that Muslim could or should or must have slave and concubine, yeah. what your right hand possessed. By, by uh, the way, j just a real revealing statement, that passage, as long as the one that you just quoted mm -hmm. uh, back in sort of 4, verse 24 and 25, even Yusuf Ali, mm -hmm. he gives his note as to what that is. Mm -hmm. And he let me show you what he says. Tell me, brother. He says, this means, whom, you, you, whom your right hand possesses means captives in jihad. Allah, mm. Allah, captive in jihad. We can't have any better than this. Yusuf Ali, I know a lot of black American Muslims, they love Yusuf Ali. Yeah. It is like, uh, it's like the, uh, okay. the favorite uh, translations. Yeah. Go and read what Yusuf Ali said. Captive in jihad. So there is jihad. And you kill the men and you take their women and their daughters and have sex with them. Mm -hmm. Allah, Allah Almighty command you, Muslim, to do so. Let's go to 1671, chapter 16 in the Quran and verse 71. What did Allah said here? Here we go. And Allah has preferred some of you above others in the provision. So those whom he preferred, they did not give away of what he provided them to whom their right hands possess. Your right hand possessed. It's another verse. Internal indication inside the Quran of slave. It is over and over and all over the Quran. 23, 5 and 6. Listen carefully to what Allah said there. And those who are guarding their private parts, except from their spouses, or what their right hand possess, so surely they are not blamed. 
Muslims are not blamed if they don't sleep around. Except they can sleep around with their, their wives and what the right hand possessed. A Muslim man can uh, do whatever he wants with his slaves in his house. Allah has given the permission to do so. And they're not blamed mean it's not sin. It's okay. Allah gave permission for Muslims to do so. How many verses so far for the little Mufti? A lot. A lot. Uh, how about 2431? 2431. Let's see what Allah said in uh, this chapter. And say to the believing women to restrain their eyes and to guard their private parts and do not display their ornaments except that which appears from it and that they throw their veils over their bosoms and do not display their ornaments except to their husbands or their fathers or their husbands' fathers or their sons or their husbands' sons or their brothers or their brothers' sons or their sisters' sons or their women or what their right hand possessed or the male followers who have no substantial sexual desire. You know, we're talking about, we talk about this yesterday, about how Muslim, when they take the slave from Africa, they were cut their penis off. Yeah, castrate. Right. Right. Castrating. Right. Yeah. That's what Allah is talking about here in this verse. A, oh. a, a, a woman can be, uh, Muhammad can have, or Muslim did have in the past, have right. men in the house with their wives, right. as long as they are not falling men castrated because he knows that he will not be able to have sex right. with their wives. But mm. what we have here is that uh, what the right hand possessed is very important that another verse in the Quran, chapter 24, verse 31, Allah gave permission for Muslim men to be with what the right hand possessed. As a matter of fact, even ma uh, female can be with what the right hand possessed. Male, if they have no penis. Mm. Let's go on with the next mm. one. Uh, chapter 24 and verse 33. What did Allah say? In the Quran, the command of Allah. And let those who cannot afford to marry keep themselves chaste until Allah enriches them of his bounty. And those of whom your right hand possesses who desire a book, so write it for them if you know that there is some good in them and give to them from Allah's money what he gave you. In Muhammad is talking, uh, Allah telling Muhammad about slaves in the house of the Muslim believers, if they choose to be, she, they want to be free, gives them a book, the book of freedom here. Are you watching me so far, uh -huh. gentlemen? Mm -hmm. uh, they can go to Allah, uh, they can go to the, the master and say, give me a book. If, I love the word if, you know, if like, well, we'll see about <laughs> it. If you feel that they can be good, they can stand on their own, they live in their own life, have their own life. If you feel or if you know that they will be good, give them a book of freedom, no longer slave. Watch the rest of the verse. That's chapter 24 and verse 33. And here is the rest of the verse. You'll be shocked what Allah said in the Quran concerning the slave, what the right hand possessed of the Muslim. And do not compel your young females to become prostitutes if they want to keep chase so that you seek the material of this world's life. And whoever compels them, so surely after they were compelled, Allah is forgiving, merciful. Can we have a house of prostitution in Islam? I mean, this is as simple as this. You guys work hard. You put your life on the front line. You went and fight, and you killed 10 Christian, and you killed 10 Jew. You're coming home with 40, 50 girl. Concubines, right hand possessed. You bought some. I don't care wherever you got them from. What your right hand possessed. And you're going to feed them all day long, all night long, three meals a day. You're not going to have sex with all these women. What should you do? Allah tell you in the Quran, do not force your female to slay, to a prostitution. What do you call it? Sex slave? Yeah, right. Sex slave. Right. Yeah. Prostitution. So you can get rich. It's $10 a night for every female to sleep with some guy. Time four, you make 400 bucks a night. Can you imagine so, that? So he would become a pimp. A basically. pimp. A yeah. Muslim can Man. be a pimp. Yeah. So, mm. so what, what, what Allah said here is what? Don't do this if they choose not. But if you force them... <laughs> if you force him, Allah is forgiven merciful. <laughs> Let's all have a house of prostitution and uh, make 10 bucks up for every guy sleep with one of the guys, girls, and it's, it's a good business. And then ask for forgiveness later. Well, no, Allah will forgive him up, up front. He's <laughs> already told them in the Quran, <laughs> oh, I'm going to forgive you, just do it. Now, now, now listen to what Son of a Gun does. Now, <laughs> son of a Gun. That's Yeah, you, you, you're, getting, you're catching on. Take a look at this, uh, Pastor. You have a different way to write. <laughs> now remember, it, uh, this is Surah 24, verse 33. Uh, but force not your maids to prostitution when they desire chastity, in order that ye may make a gain in the goods of this life. But if anyone compels them 
Yet after such compulsion, and Allah, Allah is oft forgiving and most merciful. And look what he put in parentheses. To them. To them.